Hey there friends, how you doing today? Welcome back to my Let's Play series of Undertale. Now then, I'm gonna try... Ring ring! What? You broke into Napsabluk's cousin's house? That's... that's... Hey, what was their name anyway? Napsabluk! The happy ghost! Okay, that's definitely wrong. It's not wrong. It's just my hand cannon. Okay. I don't know what, what else to do. I'm really confused. Or lost, I should say. Am I just supposed to go to the big bad boss now? Try my luck. Hope that I survive. Lonely walk. Back to the big bad boss, or good boss. He doesn't want to do what it, what's, he thinks needs to be done. I think I can actually persuade him to to get to not be killing me, or vice versa. And I think now that I've befriended Undyne, I might have a better chance. That was a really fun experience. I really like the Undyne experience. <laughs> Alright. It's a throne. Here we go. The last boss. Oh, another save spot? Let's do that. Save at the end. Strange sight fills the room. Okay, yep. Let's get to the non-fight fight fight scene. Okay, I'm filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Man, that is badass. He just destroys my spare and flee. Uh, that he's killed. That he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. You killed me before. You tell Escort that you don't want to fight him. He's breathing funny for a moment. Ah! Okay. Orange, orange, blue. Ah! I'm getting better at that. Do I have to sit through that beating? There's something I'm missing. You wanted to be an actor, huh? I'm getting on in the years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So, I'm gonna give you a lot of trouble. Never interact with an attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them in some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what's happening next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining burnt hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Okay. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, I... Have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. 
And every time you try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Uh, why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I brought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourselves more rectangular. They don't work. Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, two is what I needed. And I finally talked to the guy. Actually, I'm gonna talk to Braddy and Caddy. Just to see what they think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save. Do, 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 do. Braddy, Caddy. Let's talk. Burger pants. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kinda cute, too. Come on, Caddy. Don't you have any standards? <laughs> no! Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just uh, treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those clam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy! Alright. I'm gonna see you later and stuff, you know. Uh, well, I'm gonna go and get the other side of that story, I guess. Let's see here. The girls were talking about me? They say I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just try to see things from their perspective? Wow. Poor naive little buddy. They've brainwashed you. Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh, what time would they want to hang out? Wow. Wow. I just... Wow. You know, I'll, I'll find out for you. That's... Wow. Oh, uh... Yeah, he should come look for us. Look for junk with us. Uh, look for junk with us. But, like, if we uh, let him hang out with us, I just worry it'll be really super fun. Um... That was not what I was going to say, but I was close, right? Well, that kind of guy, you hang out with him once, then he wants to hang out all the time. But don't you feel bad for him, Braddy? Poor Burger Pants. Think about how cool we are compared to him. We'd be saving his life with our friendship. His life, Braddy! Uh, so? Think of all the glam burgers we could get for us! So, uh, is he free after work? Okay... Like later... And stuff... So, th th he's... Wow, that's really bad! Then again, this guy's pretty bad himself! Alright, invitation. They wanna hang out after work? Ha! <laughs> yes! I won't let you down, little buddy. Thank you. 
you brought a tear to this uh, to the eye of this old man. So, uh, where do they want to go? They want to hang out at the garbage dump. Well, nowhere to go but up, right, little buddy? Yeah. Anytime, little buddy. Anytime. I am really, really worried for this guy. I mean, really worried. Alright, so we're done with that. We're done, we're done with that little adventure there. Oh, man. Well, I think I've pretty much completed all the little side tasks and all that. So, that should probably be about it. In the next episode, I'm going to be failing like crazy against this guy. So, thank you so much for following along with me on my adventures here in Undertale. If you like this, click that like button down below. And until the next time, I will see you later. And remember to always, always, have fun! C could you give me another hint, or am I just following you? What? Oh, a fight! Frog, it attacks you. Okay. Can, can I not do anything else? I want to... Frog, it attacks you. Uh, no. Yeah, there we go. I want to act on Froggit. I want to compliment you. You look so lovely. I don't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Ah, you look so lovely there, Mr. Froggit. You won! I earned nothing. <laughs>